Hi, this is Alex, Oscar Zulu 9 Alpha Echo Charlie. In today's video blog I'm going to show you how you can decode digital ham radio traffic without having any receiver or antenna. All you need is a computer with a Java capable browser and a good internet connection. So let me show you how it works. First thing you need to do is to download a piece of software called FLDG. It is a freely available open source piece of software that can decode many of the ham radio digital modes that is used on the bands. And as you can see it is available for both Linux, Windows and the Mac. I'm going to need the Mac version. You will find two binaries in the downloaded package and uh, you will need to execute the one called FLDG. As soon as you start it, it will uh, run using the default settings. For uh, my case, I want to change the sound card settings so that it captures the sound from the built-in microphone. The next thing you have to do is uh, to go to a website called WebSDR where you will find different receivers that people have put online so that uh, the rest of us can listen to and I'm going to choose this one. And it is a three band receiver and as soon as you get to the site it will start playing. And I'm going to select the frequency where I uh, know there is usually some uh, digital traffic. And uh, as you can see, uh, after you s I select the correct uh, operating mode, uh, FLDG will start uh, decoding uh, the signals. The decoded text will appear up here in the yellow region uh, as uh, FLDG receives it. And down in the blue region uh, is of course the audio spectrum that uh, FLDG captures using the microphone. And uh, you can see the numbers, the, the spectrum, the frequency is the audio frequency. Right now FLDG runs in single channel mode, which means it uh, tries to decode the signal that is within the two red uh, lines you see on the spectrum display. And uh, you move that by simply clicking some anywhere in the spectrum. You can of course change operating mode at any time. Uh, if you can hear something that is different from the, your current operating mode, I'm not sure what mode this is. Uh, so I think it's not the one that I've selected. So let's just change back. FLDG also has a multi-channel receiver, which is in the program is called PSK Browser. And uh, for that purpose, it's a good idea to open up the bandwidth as much as possible to receive as many signals as possible. Of course, it's still an audio channel. So, uh, and uh, as you re you receive, you can see that uh, the text will uh, appear in the different on the different channels, and the channel frequencies are on the left. The frequencies do not quite correspond to the exact frequency because they are usually read from a hardware receiver which I do not have at the moment so it's just a fake channel number so to speak. As you can see it works surprisingly well. It has a good implementation of the multi-channel receiver, so uh, this can be a lot of fun. A 
Okay, let's try something else. Uh, let's go to the 80 meter band. And you can do that by simply clicking on the spectrum in the receiver. It's simple, simple point and click. As you can see, even though I've changed the frequency, the multi-channel receiver just keeps on receiving and decoding the data it receives in the spectrum. This was basically all I wanted to show you today, so uh, I'm going to let it play for a while for you, but go, uh, go ahead and try it for yourself and have fun with it. So, 73 is from Oscar Zulu 9 Alpha Echo Charlie. See you later and stay tuned for more fun and interesting stuff from me.